I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it Welcome to the house that Rodney built. Leahy turned into legacy, Parsegan renovated, and Holtz restored. Notre Dame Stadium, the home of the Fighting Irish. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 20 team in the country, the Louisville Cardinals taking on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. 48 Sports College Football, by Bruce Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. And the defense gets to the quarterback. How frustrating for an offense to not only see the extra defensive back with the dime package, but still have their quarterback get hit. Yeah, when you go down, this is a passing situation. And if you're a defensive lineman, I'm pinning my ears back. I'm not playing the slight back with the punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Boots his first of the day away. He was called on four times in the victory last week. Slips through the line. He drops to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. Floating away. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Irish! You want to keep your offense on the field? Wear down the defense? Put that tape on and show it to clinic. That's the way it's done. And as a defense, man, there's nothing more demoralizing. You can handle it when you give up three, but to give up a touchdown at the end of a long drive, you're already exhausted. You've already been pumped the whole way. These big uglies up front. Guys pushing the pile. NFL. And the defense is on. Back to pass. It's Leonard. Unleashes it. Makes the grab. Oh, how did you make that move? And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. That's what's so scary. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And this looks disastrous. Oh, down he goes. A huge loss on that play. And I think everybody holds their breath when that QB is back to throw, and he's right near the goal line. You never know if it's a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this. Nothing but green ahead. Smashes through. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go.
Trying play action. Hit as he throws. And they will score. Touchdown, Notre Dame. How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in week five? Lions did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Wide open downfield. And he's running in the open. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Louisville! And you can tell, he trusts his big tight end. Airing the football way down the field, treating him like a wide receiver because you know he's going to go up, make the big play, get you in the end zone, score a touchdown. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Makes the grab down the left side. Open runway ahead. Touchdown, five yard. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing them go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And he takes this one back to the line of scrimmage, a rather anticlimactic end to the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great one in South Bend going on. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who... Once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of touchdown Jesus. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He only needs a sliver of daylight. They get him out of bounds. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Fires on the move. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Didn't get a chance to show off those running skills, but he gives them the ball at the 29-yard line. Look, that interception is not the quarterback's fault. It's those dumb coaches for putting him in the game. <laughs> putting him in that, that position in the first place, right? I'll tell you what, let's give the defenders some credit here. I think Reese, he just wanted the ball more. He did a great job in coverage, watching the QB. And be able to run against this defense that's been run on a lot, and this offense just can't get the running game going. It'll be interesting to see what they do to try to change it up. He's got it inside the 30. Flying down the left side. And he just kept running, and he crowd and he'll take it in touchdown cardinals great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team no doubt first half looked bad it looked like it was bleak it looked like it was ugly but now you're starting to get it turned around more drives like this is what's needed build some confidence that they could go back to back scoring drives here yeah and remember it's not un and the ball is intercepted. Looking for more room. He's at the 20. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Larry. And doing a great job. Obviously, we got to play run first. The line that you first thought process. But then reading the QB's eyes, breaking on the football, catching it. And then from there, it was easy. Just take it right to the house.
He wants to throw. He's got it. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. And he missed, but it looked like to me he was forcing it a little bit too much. Throws to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. No, no, he loses the ball after the huge gain. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Yeah, and you see wide receivers make those catches and try to get upfield and now turn into a running back and make something happen. And a lot of times you just forget to secure that football real tight. And you can tell DB got it out. Big mistake, big turnover, nice forced turnover by the defense. The play action fake. Pocket starts to collapse. And he's going What a break on the football. He read that the whole way. He just couldn't finish it. You know he saw the end zone. He saw the grass in front of him to break on that and maybe take it to the house, but just a missed opportunity. Personal foul. Don't be the kicker. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Crosses the 30. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes it. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. He wants it all. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And the punishment has been extended. Everyone getting involved, getting the big tight end involved. This offense has done an unbelievable job scoring points. This defense has had no answers. Just keep it rolling, offense. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. Looking to throw, it's shot. And it's picked off. Trying to take it back. The 20. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this, if you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Got his man on the right. Ripping through the defense. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. And he'll need to curl this one in from 44 yards out on the right hash. It's good. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. And I know a lot of people are scratching their heads why they try to kick that field goal. You're in the fourth quarter. You're down a boatload of points. A field goal isn't going to do it. If you want to win this game, you need touchdowns. I would anticipate for every possession they get from here on out, man, you've got to be way more aggressive. I know a lot of people thought this was going to be a blowout, but this team said, just when you think you have all the answers, I change the questions. It's so true, Reese. I mean, they had a lot of dudes that we were talking to leading up to this game just had a chip on their shoulder. They just didn't feel like they were being respected, and they wanted to come out, and they wanted to prove a point. And, David, they did exactly just that. And it's so much easier to be the underdog. It's so much easier to coach that team and you go, hey, they're ranked. Everybody's talking about them. You don't have a chance. It just builds all that momentum, all that hate, and you just pour it out on the field. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.